Okay, so for the interior here, not too much going on here. It's a basic, uh, basic unit. <clears throat> Done a few little things here. Just give you a brief, uh, brief sort of overview of what I got going on here. So starting at the bottom, I've uh, added in an accessory port for the uh, power there. Always got something plugged in there. Needed a few extra spots for for the cigarette lighter adapter, so I hardwired uh, a little accessory in there for an extra three ports. Works great. The factory one right there is a little problematic because whenever I got something kind of larger plugged in, always interfere with the shifter here. Rifle shells, definitely necessary Jeep accessory. Highly recommend it. Uh, this is a switch here. I haven't got that mounted in yet. It's just sort of hanging there. That's uh, for my intake air temperature sensor. I'll get into that in a future video. Got the air conditioning there, of course, and a little Panasonic head unit there. It's got the uh, built-in Sirius satellite radio, which stays on pretty much all the time. It's uh, kind of handy. Just one last thing to clog up my dash here. I got my radar detector, that's a new one, so I just have it mounted on the windshield there for right now. And I've also got my little Garmin GPS, which stays there full time, and rides shotgun with me everywhere I go. A um, couple of switches right below that. Down below here I've got, uh, that one I think is the fan override, so I can manually turn on the electric fan. One of the things with Cherokees is they run a little bit on the hot side. I think the factory thermostat's programmed in at about 190, and everybody seems to have problems with them overheating every now and again if you're running in summer with everything on. So that gives you the option of kicking on the uh, the electric fan just to prevent you from getting up to that that really hot point. It's really helpful, especially if you're running on trails where you don't have a whole lot of air throw flow through the front. Top one here is a, a defeat switch for the air conditioning. That being for the uh, um, mostly for the defrost. In winter here, um, defrost is a way of life. The way the Jeep Cherokees are set up is that the the air conditioning compressor runs whenever you have the defrost on. So um, just sometimes it's not 100% necessary and you can save yourself a little bit of fuel economy with these things. Actually the compressor does draw a fair bit of power. So uh, I keep this switch off half the time and uh, it just prevents the AC from kicking in. So I can just run air over the windshield there, keep the fog clear. So what else I got here? Oh yeah, built myself a little uh, head, uh, what do you call it, center console off the headliner here. That's just uh, MDF wrapped in vinyl. I needed a place for switches and dash spaces at a premium. So this worked out pretty good. Got a couple switches there uh, for the ARBs and uh, some for the lights there. Compressor, etc. Got CB here, keeping in touch. And uh, there's my old radar detector that I mounted up there. That one's kind of dying, so it's time for the new one. So, what else have I got in here? Oh yeah, my scan gauge. This thing is pretty slick. I really like it. It, uh, look them up if you haven't, uh, if you haven't yet. It, uh, it, it hooks into the OBD2 port, the onboard diagnostics. Every vehicle after, I don't know, I think it was 91, is now required to have this port. And with it, you can tap into the ECM to see uh, a lot of the various parameters that are going on with your engine. Basically all the stuff that the computer uses to tune the, tune the fuel in the ignition. So uh, I've got this set up to read, uh, read a few things here right now. Manifold air pressure, I got my intake air temperature sensor, gallons per hour and MPG. That's sort of where I like to keep it set. Sometimes if I'm having uh, problems with the... Um, I had a few problems a little while back with the um, electrical charging system, alternator and stuff. So uh, it was handy to keep an eye on the voltage. So there's four different parameters you can monitor at any one time. It's pretty slick, gives you real-time feedback. 
Uh, with this also you have a trip function so you can keep track of your miles per gallon on tank, uh, current, today, yesterday, and uh, you can keep track of MPG, your average speed, how much time you got till your tank's empty, how many gallons you got till your tank's empty, and uh, miles to empty, how much fuel you've used, etc, etc, a whole pile of stuff. And uh, with it is also a, uh, a programmer. You can technically program some program your ECM a bit, and you can also clear your or read your codes and uh, and reset the mill light, uh, the check engine light there. Pretty cool, pretty handy little gadget. I really like it. It's uh, changed my life as far as my driving style goes. Uh, just to max out my fuel economy. Just by changing the way I drive, I probably gained about uh, 10 to 15, maybe 20 percent better fuel economy. Just by uh, monitoring what what sort of what sort of things you do behind the wheel uh, affect your fuel economy. So works out great. I really like it. Fuel economy on these things is pretty dismal at the best of times. So uh, that uh, 20 percent jump is pretty substantial. Like I mentioned before, we got just a regular command track four-wheel drive there, the MP231, standard transmission. Other than that, I'm not sure what else I can tell you about the interior.